another distinguished Nigerian who is going to be sharing with us well informed perspectives about our lives and how we are all evolving as a people. Now, how would you react to this impression or to this story or to this uh, disclosure that um, we have uh, a certain ancient civilization here in Africa who enjoy the reputation of having been the earliest astronomers who actually discovered many of our planetary systems. How would you react to that? Or how would you react to the story or a similar story that the tree of life has also been captured in so many historical uh, revelations or historical disclosures right here on the continent of Africa? Then how also are we going to re respond or look at our traditional religion has come to play a key role in how we have evolved as a people. Today we have with us, um, uh, as it were, uh, a very brilliant young man who has taken up the simple challenge of having to let us share the knowledge or the disclosures or the historical perspectives that Ifa can actually impact on our lives today. So what do I mean? Where are we going? So are we saying that Babalawos and Dibias, that they have relevance in our time and in our history as of today? Or how do we now connect Ifa traditional worship with what the Gen Z's are looking for or what they are doing? Or are we saying to ourselves that um, Ifa teachings and ethos are they limiting our lives? Are they restricting us? Or are they helping us to navigate and aspire to that global space which everybody is trying to get to? These are some of the things that we're going to be looking at because we know that uh, modernists are saying that uh, the digital search engines like Google may actually become the current, perhaps relevant uh, that we should be using in today's world. All these we'll be hearing from our guests. Just stay with us. I'll be back shortly. Experience unlimited super fast internet access from Intel 4G. Intel, live more. Hey, beautiful, your eyes, your smile are all begging me to take you home tonight. Now, reading page three. Experience unlimited super fast internet access from Intel 4G. Intel. Live more. Thank you for staying with us. And so you have met uh, Oluwo 
Olakunle Olawole, that is our distinguished personality who is uh, here with us in the studio to share with us his own perspectives and informed position on how modernity or modernization and how cultural heritage can actually interlink. You're welcome to Air Close Flow. Thank you very much, Salomon. Now, uh, how do I start? Where do I start from? Uh, let me look at your enthusiasm about uh, nation building because also you're also a, a, a political uh, a, a stalwart as it were but we will leave politics first then let's go to so in ancient times we heard that the dogons one of the you know here in africa we are actually the discoverers of so many of our planetary systems so how come the africa seems to have lost all this library of information what, what, what happened to us well, uh, <coughs> it's wonderful to have to be here with you. Good morning, my name is Ulu Olawole Lakune. Um, first of all, I need to correct that stereotype that the media has actually portrayed to us that um, Africa has lost it. Africa has not lost it. We feel we only feel to utilize wow. all of this knowledge. It is there. It is it is readily available. It is something that you can only tap into at any point in time that we want to look into it. It's a science system. That is a query system. That is of, of future. That is there. That is still there. If it, it is still very much alive today, it is one one of the things that, if we as a people go back to and decide to want to look into something that can be ingrained into our own level of national consciousness, it is there. So as long as we want to key into it, we can always tap into that energy. It is, it is sustainably available for us as a people. But because we do not, we no longer uh, see the need for it. Because we no longer see the need for us to tap into the science of our own spirituality the science and the technology of our own cultural environment, we don't see any reason for it or for us to look at it from a position of national cons consciousness. Wow. As a people, every race has uh, a means through which they, div they advance in their own science, in their own technology, and in, the, in a, uh, all, this, all of these things are embedded within the language and culture of their environment. So a science is a, is a product of a particular, uh, is, a, is a product of, uh, the, the a culture yes. of, a, of, a, of a particular race. So every science that is ingenious with a particular race is advanced upon by closely looking at the culture of that race. Wow. Now that is deep knowledge. Now, uh, if we are going to reflect profoundly on that, so you are saying that learning and knowledge, they are not intricate, they are not intrinsic. You have to, le you have to acquire it. Yes. That's what you are saying here. Yes. Okay, now, but, so why has it become, for instance, let's look at another issue. Would you look at the trinity that you have in the Christian faith? Is that the same thing equal to the the trilogy of the supreme being that you have in the uh, Ifa Ifa no. Corpus? We need not. to we need to we need to separate the facts from the myth. First of all, uh, in our own spiritual system, we are not a polytheist environment. We are not a monotheist environment. We are a polytheist society. We have Olodumari and we have Orishas who are ministers in their own regard who have particular who have particular um, assignments uh, assignment, uh, that are that are specific spe specific uh, assignments and they have energies that are intrinsic to that specific in, in assignment. We have Shongo, we have Ogun. Ogun will not go overboard to to do what is within what the framework of Shongo. Yes. Shongo will not go overboard to do what with what is within the frame of Oshun. And all of these energies can be transferred. We all did science. We yes. know that the, the principle of energy conversion says that energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but can be transformed, can be created, can be put together, and can be transferred to another place or to another a form, whichever yeah. way we like. Yes. So we can convert the energy of Shongo or Ogu or Shu or Oya, irrespective. First of all, as a people, we need to first of all understand the energy that is embedded within the framework of Shongo for us to be able to know how to convert we are to convert trust, yes. <laughs> You get my point. So yes. uh, as a people, we are not a, we don't believe the 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 Christian uh, uh, the Western the Western world analogy of science as yes. embedded in their own culture yeah. does not resonate directly with ours. Ours is different. So for us to be able to understand science from our own point of view, we need to first of all understand our own culture. Understanding our culture is a template and a justice for us to understand science. From my own point of view. Okay, well, brilliant, I must say. But again, the question or the larger question still that is raging or that is trending is that if you're looking at spirituality, if you're looking at spiritism, if you're looking at religiosity, so are all these factors part of the evolution or development of a people? Are these? Yes, because you cannot understand the evolution of man without first understanding the evolution of society. And it's in the study of society, the study of nature, that we begin to understand the society as a whole. 
So if you want to understand how Nigeria was, yes, I uh, wonder how Nigeria yeah. is going to be the next fifty years. You need to understand how Nigeria was yeah. hundred years back. So you cannot now use the template of America. You cannot study America to now determine how Nigeria is going to be in 100 years' time. So as a people, for us to be able to understand the modernism in our own spirituality, we need to first of all look back. Uh, we need to first look inwards, look backwards to, uh, to, uh, as to what has been the spiritual framework of our society. How have we been communicating with nature from time immemorial? And that... Uh, that uh, uh, knowledge gives us a yardstick or a template to now work upon to determine the, the future effect of our own spiritism, our own spirituality vis-a-vis -vis, uh, uh, as, a, as a culture, as a people. Okay, now um, let's bring it home a bit. Um, when you say when we understand where we are coming from, then we can begin to speak, you know, to where we are going to be, maybe in a couple of years. Now, what can, if our definitions, for instance, answer all or speak to all situations all circumstances all uh, actions all consequences in our lives can if our divinations address all those all these issues but, but before i before i answer that permit me to a little bit explain what if our divination is so that uh listeners and people who are with us can with their own framework from the framework of their own mental self can understand the essence of what we are discussing first of all uh, i will not explain if our divination from the concept of a normal or general babalawu. I'm going to explain if our definition from the concept of a computer system. Okay. If our definition okay. is an unfailing query system that has been developed by our ancestors for once that never failed, it's a query system. It has no emotions, it has no it's a computer query system. You that mean it's coded? It's yes. It's a it's a it's a significantly uh, scientific system. That is a is a significant spiritual scientific process. Query system, emphasis on query system. Yes, you know, you system ask questions, yes. And you, you, you can ask if, yes. if I permit, I, I don't know if I, I but then let me permit me to explain one of the verses of the final Yes, if I knew to wrote a raja kuru bele a badidi kridi or jotty at me or jolla mela or jota at me la lap me or jo, it de lap me for me when I take there a bela me for me, bini or lap me for you bo, open lap me for more real at that. Any lap me for me bo. Eti la kwi fun wong nou ni la to ki ta se to lu weri. Wong ni eti she eti li bala mi e gri. Lo wong to jebe eti la son le riti pon ale. Wong ni she bin to li amon to ni. Wong to li to ban benye kwa wusi to badan wusu wusu li ajye wele wele. Wong ali she ti wele wele wong akbo. Wong a ta la nye she wabba wong she kon li ba ni ajye wele wong. What that means? Yes. What that means is this. Uh, the the verse of Ifa was talking of wong nila's account of, as to when Olo Dumare was sharing the energies of life. Hmm. Olo Dumare is too big to be to be one way. Uh, which which results to the fact that every means of communicating with the cosmic is valid. So as a people, you need to understand your own means of communicating with nature. Mm. So our own means of communicating with nature is embedded in the fact. Now, when Olodumari was sharing the energies of nature, only Akmiya Befuni Bini, Akmiya Wu, the commerce and industry yes. to the Western world. Yes. Our Akmiya Eti, the Eti Dia is relevant to the query system. So yes. which means that yes. in this part of the yes. world, yes. we are supposed to have an unfiltered and, and uh, 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 undeniable access portal to communicate with the cosmic environment. Uh, for if, which means, which gives our forefathers the ability to make enormous research as to the, 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 the ethos of life and the ethos of culture and the spirituality of our own scientific realm as, as a people. So Eti Lak Mifunga, because every race has a progenitor, or really is a progenitor of the black race, mm. uh, according to the spiritual ethos of Ifas, according to what Ifas explained. So the white way, tell what if we have been given a query system, so the, it shows that for everything we have, we need or we lack as a people in this part of the world, is is something that we can be that can be gotten by, by ourselves, uh, by virtue of the query system that Olu Dumari has given to us. So we have a query system. So Ifas is not just. Um, Something that, uh, uh, according to the stereotype of the world that we have, no, uh, just a divine, just a divine is, mm. is, is, is an extensive, or limitless query system through which all the works, all the questions of life yeah. can be hacked. Okay. So, as a people, it is our, it's only a, a fault that we have as a people that we have limited the, the, the efficiency of our own query system to a level of we can't, as a people, decide to advance. Or to expand the yes, uh, the the exceedance yes, of that system, yes, yes. the level of what should, what should be our educational policy as a government, of yes. the, as a government, what should be our own policy in terms of technology, what should we inculcate, which model of governance should we even inculcate? So we have we already have a query portal. We have just, we have just chosen not to 
uh, utilize our query portal. Okay, I like that again because uh, off the off the cuff, I was just going to ask you. So, in a rapidly te technologically advancing uh, uh, environment like we have right now, you are talking of uh, IFA being a you know a, a query system that is codified and therefore it's relevant even for the future. But where did how come that IFA did not tell us that technology will get to this level? Or why didn't we ask? Why didn't we get that? advanced information that technology will be where we are today well uh it is our fault because we fail to see technology from the way it is we we feel as a people that technology is defined by the western version of technology where right? technology we are already advanced technology community. yes we are already advanced technological community let's let's take for instance let me ask you a question uh we whether it's a myth or whether it is real there is a concept of Igbe. Mm -hmm. now a way is a concept where uh, a, an energy can be moved from one point to another yes. without any external motion. In, in the first law of motion, there has to be an initial force. force to move you. However, in our own spiritual system or our scientific system, there is a force that is not physical that has to move you from a point A to point, to B. A point B. So we as a people have been advanced enough to, uh, to see that how that can we possible. move a, 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 a an object, object from yes. point A to point B without the, F, the effect of a physical force, physical external force. So it shows that as a people, we, we, we are advanced than the technological perspective of the Western world. So without push. However, Western science says that for, for, for motion to occur, there has to be an external, external force, force that is physical. Are you with me? Yeah. So it shows that we as a people have over time looked at technology from another from, from the prism or from the lens of another from another man's lens. So we need to as, as much uh, we need to we'll not even go back, we need to look critically at the technology from a different point of view. We are we are, we are first of all a technological advanced country. Now our technology is nature friendly. We are not a tech mm -hmm. we are not a, we are not a people mm -hmm. that defies the odds of nature. We don't use our advancement in technology to defy the odds of nature. We use our technology to augment the nature around us to ensure that our society is sustainable, our society is livable, our society is progressive in, it, in itself. But because we failed to look at technology from our own point of view, we have decided as a people to look at technology and advancement from the Western point of view. We have, we have, we are retrogressing technologically. Okay, now retrogression or not? Now, uh, Olu Wale. So, Babala, Babala was are they priests? Are they prophets? Are they diviners? Or they are just ritualists? Well, uh, we are all ritualists. First of all, okay. Ritual is the process of continually uh, going through a process in in the in the event that you want the specific result. A the, sitting down. No, 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 no. Let's redefine that again. Sitting down. Ritual, yes, uh -huh. Sitting down on this show this morning, you are doing a ritual because it is a, it's, a, it's something you are doing continuously because you wanted to achieve something. So that is ritual in in, in, in itself. Yes. Now, um, a babalawo is a paradox of knowledge. A para babalawo is a philosopher, is a scientist, is a technologist, is somebody who understands the programming language of the cosmics and who translate it to what. An an uninitiated can understand. Is somebody who, who, so to say, the government should be paying the salary because <laughs> for for somebody to understand the the language of nature and can be able apply to apply it, and apply, apply it, and translate it in a way that is uh, ingenious, in a way that is useful to the advancement of society. I think such people are people that are supposed to be regarded, who are supposed to be sacredly regarded in in our in our uh, in our own uh, world. So Ibabalawo is as as against. The media stereotype, Babalawos are not ladders, Babalawos are not people who are, uh, who are to be stereotyped, Babalawos are not uh, uh, illiterate, as, uh, they are not referrals as, as some, so, people. So, uh, some people, some people Babalawos are advanced scientists, the advanced philosophers whose uh, ethos, in the, in the Roman Empire we have the likes of uh, Plato and the likes, they are the Babalawos of their time, they are the ones who, are, who, are, who ensure that the advices and the philosophical tenets of what they are doing are embedded in the nature of the, the course of the advancement of the society of Rome. So as, as a people, in Nigeria as it is, we should have priests who, over time, do divination as to the course of the advancement of this country. What is this country? Where are we moving to? We have a quasi system on ground already. But then, what, how do we query our own system, our own indigenous scientific system, to ensure that we even know the future of Nigeria? We can we are we are we are presidential candidates, additional manifestos here and there. 
But then the question is this. Mm -hmm. As a people, do we know what exactly Nigeria is going to be in the next 15 years? No, we don't. How, how do we now develop a developmental plan for Nigeria without knowing uh, what Nigeria is supposed to be in the 50 years' time? So, uh, for that, I think Babala was advanced people who society should regard. Okay, uh, we, we again uh, uh, appreciate that, but now the question would be, so why are the proverbs, the stories and the poetry uh, uh, called from Ifa? Why are they not written down? Why are they only um, restricted to the oral tradition? Why is that? Now you are giving us an example now. Babala was a scientist. But these scientists have not impacted that knowledge practically because if you don't have the narrative, then you cannot apply your science. So why why are we caught in that trap? Well, first of all, we need to understand that um, everything will not go west. First of all, um, uh, recording or uh, putting down information, you need to first of all appreciate the hours who have done over time for you to have passed down uh, on limitless knowledge. For, for generations over generations over generations for hundreds of hundreds of years without losing touch with the reality shows that this is a sustainable educational system first of all for it to have for it to have moved beyond the century mm. it shows that it is sustainable mm. and it shows that it is not only physical writing that we can document our uh, our Experience. our thoughts mm. our expressions our knowledge so our father advanced it to the level where they could document the oral traditions, the knowledges, and the ethos, and the scientific, and the codex of our spirituality in, in an oral formula, in an oral fashion. So, it shows us that we have a system of education that is different from the system of education of the Western world, or the world at large. Our system of education is ingenious to us, and that's what I keep telling people. We need to understand education from our own point of view. In in time memorial, we we have professors from from childhood. Mm. Mm. Which means that uh, he can actually choose a career career path from the arts, from yes. the music, yes. and all of this yes. part. Yes. And then he, he we we find out concurrently which part of the Anyo tribe is he going to move in his life. We know his life path, and then he becomes. We, we, we hand him over to a master of that f in that field. And then he learns directly from childhood, from the master in that field. We need to look at that type of education mm. system. It's not mm. the current education system where, at first, I studied electrical engineering at first. I currently studied information technology. Yes. But then, at first, I did. I knew that in primary school, I did about 13 subjects. And then moved to secondary school, which is a and that, and this is 13 relevant subjects in my, my life. In, while I was studying information technology in, in, in university. In my 200 level, I was still doing bio, bio, biology and chemistry. How does biology and chemistry interfere with, what? with information technology? And those are things, those are the, the education system that we have now. It's not an education system that is designed to help us advance society. Mm. Education is, is, mm. A, is a means through which you acquire knowledge that can be imparted back to society for that matter society. If any education will not directly advance society, it's not education itself. So even if you are, you are a professor in any field, and that education that you might have uh, acquired. Uh, acquired is not utilized to advance society. It is it's a, it's a total failure in the education sector. If you have to look at our holistic, if you have to have an holistic, holistic view yes. of our education se sector, we should ask ourselves, we should ask ourselves, as our education se sector, as the model of education that we have in this country, as it advanced us as a people, or as it retrogressed us as a people. So we shouldn't look back. As a point in time, when we looked at our own indigenous education system, where we advanced as a people, or were we retrogressing? Those questions should determine the kind of educational model that we have as a people. Okay, well, we we, we we are migrating slowly as a threat towards the space age. We will. Yes, now. So, how do you see these matters you have raised here, some of these spiritual matters that you have raised here, how can you see that relevance in the technology of the new space? Everybody is not going to Mars, some people are going to Moon, some people are going to be living outside of the Earth. So, how do you see the relevance of such spiritual knowledge you have brought here to this feature we are looking at. Thank you very much. Um, um, IFA is, a, is an unlimitless unlim portal of knowledge. And that knowledge is in different strata of societal endeavor. It's not just one path. So, first of all, IFA has ge geographical tenet, it has philosophical tenet, it has uh, scientific tenet, it has religious tenet, it has what, what have you. Mm -hmm. Now, as a people, uh, we we feel that uh, people are traveling to Mars, people are doing to this, people are doing that here and there. Now we feel, we think that is is advancement in the course. Any level of advancement that will alter the course of nature is not advancement. That's one. 
We as a people, we as a people, our fathers are disappearing now. If you can travel to Mars, what says that you cannot disappear? Now, if there are instances where we would disappear and reappear in places where they didn't like, it shows that first of all, our, our indigenous British system understands the concept of geology, understands mm -hmm. the concept of coordinates. For you to be able to disappear from a point to another point, it shows that the affair, you or the affair that carries you, understand the coordinate of where to land. If you are now landing in a place that is not exact coordinate of where to land, it is something that we can now advance upon. We have the template on ground already. So when you, the first question you asked me, when I told you that we have these things, we are not, we don't need to find them. They are there. We just need we to do, look into do, it, yes. research more into it. We have a Nostradamus Institute in the United States. Mm. So Nostradamus, Nostradamus was a philosopher, was a, was a spiritualist. Who, who wrote a lot of prophecies? Yes. He, he prophesied about Hitler. If I even wrote the name, I, he, he wrote the exact name of Adolf Hitler, wrote the exact name of Stalin and all that. The United States government looked into his prophecies and they created an institute to continually research all of his prophecies. That is how a, go, a society develops. We have people. And we have that, similar things here and there. Yes, so. And we are not looking at it. And then you want us to, you want us to compete. First of all, they have stereotyped us that we are evil, we are ritualists, we are killers, we are memers, we are people who, who, who are either reject, we are blah, 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 blah. And then, after all the years of downtrodden and all of these things, we still come out stronger. If I need to buy me a denomination share, Papa Lawo, for him, it means that it is somebody who is a great philosopher, someone who, has, someone who has a great level of thinking that looks at the net titles of Ifa and they understand the concept of Ifa. Now, as a people, to buy me a denu. If you at some point the the custodians of the knowledge of Ifa and Lulishas, they are they 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 took all our our wise and our intelligent people out of our way, yes. Mm. And the funny thing was that the reference and the societal reject became the custodian of that knowledge and the knowledge still didn't end still didn't die mm. they were able out of mm. their drunkenness out of their humanizing out of their refraffing and nature they were still able to contain and receive that knowledge for our own generation who is now coming to change all of these mantras now if you are not saying that we need an advancement we need that we need this it is for us to look deeply for the new generation of ours, and this is a clarion call for the Babalaos, Yaniva, or Rorisha, who, whether you have just one percent of the knowledge or two percent, whichever percent of the knowledge, we need a platform where we can research and we can look into inward into the knowledge that we have for the advancement of our own society. Okay, well, that is it. You have heard from him. Um, so if you are uh, Babalawo, if we are Yaifa, please uh, join us in this conversation so that you can discover again what uh, Oluwole is trying to say here. Oh, when we come back, I'm going to ask him, um, there is something about uh, the FAR codification that we need to verify. Binary systems, base 2 arithmetics, are these possible links between what Ifa is saying and what those uh, uh, notations are all about. We'll be back. Just, just stay with us, okay? We must dilate the <laughs> eyes. We look for the, for if they have cataract, we look at the back of their eyes. They have glaucoma. You know, we do a full workup for them. We will remove that government. We will remove that government. We will remove that with our sugar. We can be looking deeper than we ever looked in before to ensure that um, we we close. It manifests as physical and Every edition is an arresting conversation with distinguished Nigerians from various strata of the society bearing their minds on how we can realize the Nigeria of our dreams. Join us live on Close Flow Monday every week here on NT2 Lagos Network Center. Close Flow. The conversation is about you. Thank you for staying with us. Oluwo is still here and um, I know many of you are eager to join the conversation because he has invited you. Whatever it is that you think that you have, he wants to see if you can embellish it and spread it to impact on our well, our, on our lives and on our nation because we are seeing how Nigeria can develop. He's saying to us, yes, we have elections coming up, but uh, 
where are the agendas? What are the developmental agendas? What are the set goals that can actually change the narrative about Nigeria? You have a role to play as a citizen. So that's what uh, Oluwo is trying to ask you to do. So the numbers. Quickly, you need to take down the numbers. If you want to hear his um, philosophical voice, then you can call us on 080-5975-3044. 080-5975-3044. Or just send us a text message, which is faster and easier, to 080-6350-8434. 080-6350-8434. If you have the WhatsApp and you have data, then send us a WhatsApp message and your queries to uh, Uluwo. And the uh, WhatsApp number is 080-2038-4130. 080-2038-4130. Let's get going. So call us quickly and let's uh, move this conversation to the practical step. Now, Uluwo, just before we went to that break, I was raising the query or the issue of uh, now we know that uh, in Yoruba uh, uh, evolution base 2 was used I mean as some kind of uh, arithmetic uh, uh, formula so the codification that you spoke about in the fact the oracles that we are talking about you are saying that some of them are, are like in two forms and like that. so wh what is the link uh, um First of all, you need to understand that the language of the cosmic is numerical, and um, numer the language of the cosmic is numerical. Yeah. So, so the the, the so three sixty degrees is part of the language of the cosmic. Yes. So, um, if I need the genie move, move the function should grow. Yes, that's what you said. It's it's, 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 uh, it's scientifically the I, I told you earlier that the, if I ask different tenets, scientific tenets. Mathematics and, yes, and all of these things. So in the mathematics of Ifa, Ifa already says that I am in support of two, hmm. not one. So it shows that the base, the, the smallest base of Ifa is two. And it, you also notice in the codification of the language of Ifa that is in twos. So which which shows that life is based on the concept of polarity, Ire and E B. So uh, the polarity is in the positive and negative of life. So we are we are already talking the mathematics of Ifa now. Yes. So if now says that a jejimo be mu beni konshuduro is is to show that I am not only of a positive polarity alone. For us to have a balanced and equated life world, mm. Mm. we have to the level of the energy of positivity has to equate the energy of negativity for us to have a balanced mm. and neutral world. That's what Ifa is saying from the beginning of time. Now in the in the upper system. There is a two by four mat uh, quantum matrix chain, which is which is um you are you are surprised. There is a two by four quantum matrix chain, and um, it in it it is embedded the configuration of different different letters. It shows that within the within the framework of the binary system, yes, we can inculcate or we can infuse about two hundred fifty six programming different programming language in the two degree uh, two base binary system. That's why if I say, and that's the concept of the operating system. Uh, binary system. So the mathematics of Ifa is uh, we cannot say that we are not advanced. That's what mm -hmm. that's is. just a project. We are, we are already highlighting here. We are already advanced. We just chose to look at so advancement from the prism of another man's lens. We have our own level of advancement. We are already if I come up with things that we are doing research on one baba what is she research is in there. Is it yeah. uh, now, 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 uh, uh, let's come back to one, uh, uh, one, uh, 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 this quieting aspect of all this. Everybody is still saying that this knowledge you are talking about are still, uh, as it were, banked in oral forms. And it will be difficult for others to share in that knowledge if you cannot pass the information, if you cannot speak to those who want to learn. We change that narrative. How do we? We have to correct that somewhere or somewhere. Uh, first of all, we have we have the issue of patency in the yeah. U.S. in the U.S. scientific field. Yes. In the, in the world general yeah, intellectual, intellectual property, intellectual property, patency, and all of these are, are basic issues that we address that had already been addressed in our own part of the world. Hmm. You get once we are uh, there are some places you get to the back of the buy buy the kifaya and all the They will tell you the patents the. Who's those who own the intellectual property? And they will now tell you that uh, for you to release this intellectual yes. property to you. Yes. Another thing is the issue of security. Mm. We, are a, we are a people that has a really do with colonialism and all sorts, all, of sort metal, of, yes. all sorts of things. And the ways our father felt that they could keep and they could ensure that 
the we we don't want to we don't want to be uh, built, uh we don't want our knowledge and all this to be stolen the world at large uh, is trying as much as possible to tap into and steal and cut away with our knowledge system but then i'm telling i'm saying oh uh, they cannot see anything oh they didn't come <laughs> oh, they didn't so uh, basically the the ethos the deep lines of all these things i am are still i can assure you Okay. Okay. Well, now the the questions again are that are uh, in fact teachings and ethos limited or restricted to the Yoruba land, or do we have other practitioners in other parts of Nigeria, Africa, and even the rest of the world? Do we have in fact practitioners as well? There's a verse of Ifa that says, "Adifa fun rudu mare, ifa mama akobo edika akiriye." It shows that um, first of all, the language, the the scientific essence of Ifa is not limited. To us as Yoruba. However, you know that if you want to teach me anything, you have to teach me in the language mm -hmm. that is best suitable to you. So, but then, if I is across body, there is five in Trinidad and Tobago, Cuba, Benin Republic, Kutonu, Brazil, name it. And then the the knowledge is even being translated to different, different languages, Portuguese. The same way, there is always there is always the aboriginal. Mm. And then the, the aboriginals, you can decide, Christianity, the English language was not the aboriginal language of Christianity. No. So some people took their time, took their resources because they wanted the, the, the English people to have a clear cut understanding of what has been taught. They tried to translate it to English language. So that is it. Every race has a means, a, a already codified means of communicating with God. If I now want you as a different race to understand my own means of communicating with God, it shows that I have to translate that the ethos of that means to a language that is understandable by you. So if I, as a as a as a whole is embedded and given to us the aboriginals in a language that is systemic, that is ingenious to us. Mm, mm. If you as a as a French person want to understand it far, you can now translate it to however, there, there are every language has a need, every letter has a need, embedded in a different level of energy. The Yoruba language is a very is a very high energy level language. And it is also part of the programming language that we talk talking about. In programming, you 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 hear of high level programming language, yes. and I and I laugh when I hear <laughs> those programming language. I say that the vowels of Yoruba language are thick, high level language programming programming language, and as such, you it Yoruba ni ojua ba ole da bi ojua la the the primordial uh, uh, language, yet, the primordial knowledge. language, mm. even as it's translated, you know that as as Christianity was translated. As the Bible was translated over time, it begins to lose, lose. The, 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 the vibration yes. of the energies or the languages in it. So, uh, primordially, Yoruba language is the primordial language for Ifa. However, if you want to understand Ifa, I don't think there's a reason for you to want to understand Ifa at the level where you'll be able to name or attack those who are the primordial or the mm. originals. Mm. So, those things we also care because of our own sanctity. Okay, now one other area that uh, the people are querying is the fact that they say, this deep knowledge which you have shared with us here now, this that you have expressed here, why is this so? Uh, well, okay, they, they are already entrenched in Ifa divinations, okay, as you have already indicated there. But why are they no longer being employed or deployed to what? Well, governance or to realization of our dreams as a people or goal? Why is it now that uh, um, even how did Africa in itself become, as it were, colonized? With, with all this knowledge that we have, we have shared with us here, how, how come? <laughs> if any, uh, if Ogutoba, Ogutoba Dani, Toba Kuni, no, Kawunu, Lewo. So, so it, 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 is, have, it is, it, it is, it is have for us, because for, of. Irrespective, for 400 years, the Western world tried as much as possible to infiltrate into Africa. For 400 years. We, I read history, I studied history concurrently. For 400 good years. You know what it means to try as much as possible to infiltrate into a people for 400 years without success? And then for how many years? Well, I didn't the 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 exercise the exercising the exercise part of colonialism didn't last for hundred years. No. <laughs> so it shows that within those within let's say within fifty years, they were able to colonize almost all Africa. Why? It shows that there was a there was a crack in the wall. It is people within ourselves who sold out. It is people. It is ourselves who told ourselves, told the infiltrators and the colonizers that see, if Some you want things, to, yes. you want to catch this yes, person, this is what, what you need to do. do. If you want to catch this person, this is what we we'll do. Those are one of the reasons why this knowledge we are we are taken back into seclusion, because they were. It was through only down It was it was our own knowledge that was used against us to. And don't forget that it is a query system. It has no emotions. It has no what have you. So, That's if, so biased. It, it, is, it is unbiased. It is, it is a mathematical system. 
If you know the almighty formula, you get the result. That is how it is. Okay, now, um, going forward now, so, uh, why do you think that traditional medical practices have continued to be relegated in spite of what you have just disclosed to us? Right now, we have um, herbal knowledge, we have um, uh, botanical knowledge, we have, and yet, when we now say traditional medi uh, medical practice, our people still consider it to be um, more of evil than of good. Why is that so? Well, I think that's one of the reasons. That's one of the issues. And I'm happy that I'm, I'm on MTA uh, saying this. Uh, the, the government needs to look deeply into the workings of Nollywood. And I keep telling mm. people, Nollywood, has, Nollywood mm. has actually entrenched negative stereotype on the, on the, on the culture of the black people, on, of Yoruba people and Africans at large. And um, here, across the board, across Africa, Nollywood is a very big industry that it depends... Is industries in sub-regions are looking up to and the, the things that we do, the information that we put out has a lot of effect. I was born in a deeper life family and growing up I, I watched a lot of Mike Bamloy and, and I know how, how effective the stereotype has actually affected my, there was, the, I, I had to do a lot of cleansing yes. before I could be able to wipe away all of the things that Dr. Mike Bamloy was able to impact by the movies that the, the Monzion films did in our lives. So it, it, it shows that over time, over the years, and I noticed that it is, it's an intentional and systemic approach to demonizing what is hard. Hmm. Because at some point, the, the practitioners, most of the Nollywood filmmakers and all that, they all have Oluos. And they go to the Balaos and some of them have, some of them come to our places to do divination, to do for their own personal life. I'm saying it on live on TV. <laughs> They come, uh, they, they come to different Oluwos and to, do, to, do, to find a way to ensure that they have progress in their own works of life. Hmm. However, how can you come to a place, you come to a temple to seek solace, to seek solitude in, in ensuring that you, there's a progress in your work of life, there's, there's, a, progress, mm. there's a furnishing in your, in your career path, and then you now use that career path to demonize the same place you come to, it, it's absurd. So Nollywood as a whole has actually entrenched the negative stereotype upon the people, upon our young people, and that negative stereotype has affected a lot of things, a lot of psyche, a lot of the way people approach. And as much as, at, at the time we tried, some of us practitioners, we tried as much as possible to, we felt that it was lack of sensitization. Mm -hmm. And then we started, we started using Going our social handles, mm -hmm. we started doing all the things we could. And then to my utmost surprise, we realized that these people knew what they were doing, and then they felt like negative stereotyping of our culture is a means of making their product or their business sell, which is, which is wrong. I think in countries, in some other countries, we, we watch movies and we go, we, find, we try as much as possible to look movie. Movie production and all of this is a way of, of, of directly or indirectly expressing the culture of the people to the world. And we watch Korean movies, we watch Chinese movies, we watch different Indian. movies, we watch Indians and Americans. And you see that the Indians, the Americans, the South, the South the Koreans, they, they propagate properly, they emphasize on properly, the culture of their people and the yep. films that they make. However, it's surprising, it's only in Nigeria, it's only in this part of the world, you see, you see people come to my place and they are shocked. People look at me and say, no, you are a fake person. Because this, the stereotype that Nollywood has given to everybody is that before you come to my house, I must tie one red, white thing, my eyes, I must be putting on... Um, rags and my it must be in a banana plantation. It must be have it must have a red background and all of these things. And I feel that is there no sensor board that is censoring all of this production that are coming out What are the what is the work of the industries and the, the, the boards that are looking at do 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 the these quality, movies even the pass through screening? Yes, yes. Do they go to the test of the quality or the competence of our own culture? So how do we even put all these things out without even vetoing it? Who vetoes these things? These are questions that we should be asking as a people. Who vetoes because Beyond the profit that Nollywood is going to make, it's, a, it's, a, it's indirectly damaging mm. the, 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 the psyche of the nation. And, mm. and as such, as the National Television Authority, it is a, it is a, it is a better platform to tell the world. And, and I know that there are ministries of culture, information, which are viewed, whether in Lagos, whether in the federal government, who, who, are, should. who, who should be monitoring all of these things. And you cannot because you want to... People have investors. People, people, I understand that some of the Nollywood actors have people who, who invest, Invested. and then who will say, okay, we'll say, put down this money. And you know, in business, you actually listen to investors. We, he will have, he will play, uh, pay the piper. Pay, pay the piper, they take the tune. Now, who are those investing in, who are the marketers, who are those? We need to ask questions, because if we, if we really care about Nigeria as a country, if we really care about the progress of this country, we should be able to define what Nigeria is within the framework 
In fact, culture, we keep saying that uh, we, are a, we are a cultural society, we are this, we are that. <laughs> we only express culture by the value of our tires that we wear. We don't express culture in the teachings, in schools. You go to schools and they say the, the child is speaking vernacular, a language that is ingenious to it. The, the ingenious language is the first, scientifically, it is tested that man's indigenous language is the best language to lecture. So how can you now tell me that my mother's language, the language I was born into, you, first of all, I was born into a Yoruba land. And then you begin to you begin to beat me as a person for speaking a language I was born into. It is, it is indirectly saying that God is stupid <laughs> for have created me as a Yoruba person. Okay, all right. Uh, let's, let's come to the wise part. Because after all, the Nigerian government already has uh, instructed that mother, mother tongue or, or traditional language should not be used. In primary schools, you know, the, across the country, that's like, the the, the, uh, the federal government actually issued that uh, by, by President uh, Buhari. Now, one thing again that uh, you have also referred to, uh, and that is also a uh, trending, is the fact that traditional religions are often characterized, you know, as either you know, inhuman, bloody, evil, or you know, full of witchcraft and all that. So, where did that come from? It, 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 was that the same? value that our forefathers were actually sharing with the world or did we, did we get the story wrong somewhere along the line? Let me, let me quickly um, analyze some disparity. People don't know that there is a big difference between a babalawu and unishegu. More than like saying that there's a big difference between a doctor and a pharmacist. Baba walawu is different from unishegu. And unishegu is an alchemist who understands the energy embedded in each matters of every plant and root. And knows using the energy of conversion to say, okay, yes. this is the energy embedded in the way. And for any problem I have, this is how to utilize this energy for that problem. A babalawo is a doctor who does diagnosis to say, come, what is the problem? So we, we need, we, hmm. because we don't know, I have, I have, I, and you can, you can, we can veto that out. Let me, like, somebody, one of the presidents can say, let's go and check, let's go and verify. Yes. We can go on, online to verify. You realize that majority of those who find them, you will find it the hearts of whether ritualists, whether human ritual, all these things, they are not traditionalists. Mm -hmm. They are you, mm -hmm. how can, how can mm -hmm. you say that somebody, uh, Kazim Mustaz yes. is, yes. is a, is a Babalao? How can you be Kazim Mustaz and be Babalao? How is that possible? It is visible to the blind. It is possible to the devil. It is clear. It is crystal clear that there is a big difference between doing the alchemy, negative alchemy or science for whatever means you want to do it. There are pastors who do jazz. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There are pastors who come to us to do jazz. It is because of the ethos of our own uh, work that we decide to say, "Come, no, we don't want to interfere in the lives of people. We are gentle people. We are going. People. We are easy going people. We are. We are. In fact, we are the greatest enablers of peace in the society. We are. We are peace builders." We are peacemakers, we are peace builders, we are brothers. So if, because of the fact that we are peace, we decided to say, come, come, it is the Ormila was the one who designed the, the, uh, the populist manifesto of Omolua B. And as Omolua B, as a book, you have a barale waja. It's wrong. So if you look deeply, if you go online and say, okay, those who have been those who have been captured, those who have been sleeping with people's body parts and all that, look critically into them. We cannot begin to do name calling. If you look, if you look critically into them, you realize that these people are not even traditionalists. But because the media has over time stereotyped the Babalao Solorishas as people who use human parts <laughs> for rituals, the moment anybody is being captured to have or in either in possession or whether allegedly in possession of any human part for ritual, it is directly said, it is Im immediately said that the person is a, is a, is a, is a traditionalist. <laughs> we, can, we are not all traditional. You cannot, be, you, cannot, you cannot be a traditionalist the moment you are being caught with somebody's head in your hand. It's wrong. <laughs> okay, now, uh, what, again, one other issue that is uh, on the table is a question of uh, why do we now have, because the uh, Inifa issue is one of the uh, agents or one of the messengers of uh, Ifa's uh, uh, translations or divinations of messages. Now, Eshu, as far as other religions are concerned, we is expected to be evil. Now, so where we, now you have explained to us now that no, it's not possible. We are gentle people. We are you know positive people. We are, so where did what is the role of Eshu in the way that Ifa divinations are being shared? Thank you very much, um, Eshu. I've said it countless times, Eshu is not, I will never be Satan. 
we don't have Satan in our own spiritual cosmology. Yeshua is even on Satan. We have, truthfully, we have in the but in the, you, in the, in the binary, of the, yes, binary. Yes, binary. Yes, we have there. good. We have good, good and, and evil. So yes. the greatest good is IQ, life. Okay. That's when you go to my money share, you fashion share, you cool life. The opposite of life is death. So which means that the greatest evil also is the death. So now after that we have other we call them we don't call them ibi but we call them ajogo because of the fact that we we try as much as possible to run away from every every energy Negative. of negativity. Yeah. We still don't even call these people ibi. We call them ajogun because we, we believe that they are the negative force of nature to balance the positive mm. force of nature. So we have a fun and a d. Just like we have it yin yang. The, the F1 and AD are almost like Satan. You can say that F1 and AD is Satan. Because F1 comes silently to you and speak, whispers to you and say, Go and sleep with your own daughter. And you, your boss, F1 and F1 are a unit. And then you, having done that, the negative act already, you know, F1 will not leave you. You decide to say F1 will not tell you, you will be so, but Eshu, on the other hand, is not Satan. Eshu mm -hmm. is part of the, uh, the beauty of our own spirituality is that we have, in, in between those desires, Eshu is the first fences. Yonisha, who is their share of Olo mm -hmm. For Eshu is the energy that makes everything, every thought comes to life. So if, by your own cosmology. By your own cosmology. So if you say, okay, I feel, if any, is like a messenger, and you say, okay, well, I, I want Ogun to do something for me. Ogun gives the authority. He should carry it out. I see. If you say, okay, well, ah, we want, we want, uh, I want to marry. And the first says that if you want to marry, the energy of marriage is within the cosmology of Oshun. You go to Oshun. Oshun gets all the things ready for you. For you. And then Oshun says, okay, okay, it doesn't approve. Just like saying that oh, you come to a ministry and the, the head of the ministry approves your petition. And he gives you to an officer in the ministry. So you like go the and, permanent secretary. The permanent secretary. Go and, go and ensure that these things happen. So issue is in that department. Issue is neither, is neither good, good or evil. Nor evil. Are you with me? Neither good or evil in the sense that it, he, he is even to in one of his in one of his eulogies. Yes. He hmm. shows that if you are if you, you are grieving, enough sympathy. He, he, he is sympathetic enough to cry on your behalf for you to even be afraid. Ah, this the cry for me is even too much. Mm. Now, Eshu now is um, is an important the the Yorubas call him Olailu, the wealth of society. Now, but wait, uh, 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 the question now is: So, where did we get these negatives? About issue, where well, did they come from? Well, it comes, it came from Ajayi Krada and the interpretation of Satan in the Bible. While Ajayi Krada was trying as much as possible to translate, to convert the Bible to Yoruba language, you will notice that every religion that came into this part of the world tried to leverage on the template of our own indigenous. They say, ah, Oluwa, Oluwa, Oluwa is, is, a, is an Orisha name, it's a naming system. We have naming system. Yes. So before the Western people came, we have a means through which we name ourselves. We know, our naming system is so advanced that we know the, the cosmology of each society, each family. We know that the family is the bedrock of society. And we say that, okay, uh, you know in that, immediately in that family that the energy of success in that family is stranded in Ogun. Ogun lo nile yen. So our fathers will not give you a name that is not embedded within a name that will, f that will help your path in life. So somebody who is now Ogun Jobi will not change his name to Jason Jobi. How the, is Jason within the foundation of that family? Je are you, are you, are you within All right. So my, my producer is saying that if I allow Olu to remain here, we are not going to leave the studio today. So uh, how do we say it now? So say uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, thank you so Welcome very much. Um, what we are going to be asking for will be, uh, so what do you see in the future for Nigeria? Well, I, I am happy that a lot of young people are waking up. A lot of young people are beginning to understand that, see, after all, our spirituality is not evil as the media has portrayed it. 
and people are, especially those of our young people in the diaspora, yes. people who have traveled and they realize that I have a lot of clients who go outside of the country and say, ah, Olu, I was rushing to go to church in the, the morning. I just got to show only three people in the church. What's happening? The people, three people in the church, they even came to collect food for themselves. So, ah, it's because you've been scoped that if you don't go to church, you will not make it. So, <laughs> as a people, we, I am happy that our young people are gradually, gradually coming to the realization of our own self. Because the first uh, 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 strata or the first step towards advancement is this conscious self realization of self. Okay. However, in realizing self, uh, no, 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 no time, time is up. That, that realizing self is obviously useful in every strata of the environment. Whether you are an alchemist, geologist, technician, the knowledge of the fact which has, is viable, is utilizable in all strata of society in the world. Thank okay, you. thank you so very much, Oluo. He has spoken up um, about what we need to do about ourselves. Let's go rediscover re our own knowledge about our own um, you know, beginnings and see how we apply that to the future that we want for our country. So until next week, it is bye from us. But don't forget, go to all our social media handles to make sure that you can connect with Oluo, Olakule, Olawale. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Bye.